Hyundai views the 2024 Ioniq 7 concept, which is exactly what the all-electric SUV looks like, as a living environment on wheels. The 7 is said to be comparable in dimensions to the three-row Hyundai Palisade and is built on the Ioniq 5 and numerous other upcoming Hyundai and Kia EV cars, new cross-brand eGMP platform. The 7 idea is just this, a concept with a futuristic facade that has odd lighting features, shape-shifting wheels and glass panels on the roof and rear. It does, however, tease potential future design language and technologies, while other fantasy aspects like its big coach doors and furniture-like seating are feasible. The idea of a huge interior with adaptable layouts is not. The Ionic 7 aims for a range of more than 300 miles and incredibly fast charging times in 2024. The concept behind building Ring Island Dubai is to take a forward-thinking approach and offer a multifunctional complex with a focus on medical services. Indicators that were taken into account at all stages of ideation and design and formed the final product include the imaginative integration of a digital approach, sustainable architecture, geographic and social conditions of the region, as well as attention to Dubai's future needs. The entrance of the island is underground due to a pedestrian-oriented design. Therefore, cars cannot drive up and enter the island. The site plan's crescent form is symbolic of Muslim religious concepts like the lunar month as well as the local Dubai architecture and Burj Al Arab's geometry. Apple consistently succeeds in developing paradigm-shifting products. It has once more pledged to offer technology that will be nothing less than a major leap forward in terms of capabilities and mixed reality implementation. Although the Vision Pro is a computer that you wear on your face, its use is just innovative. Instead of viewing the computer's output through a physical screen, two incredibly tiny yet high-resolution screens are placed in front of you, right in front of your eyes. The primary user interface uses eye tracking and gestures rather than a keyboard, mouse or touchscreen to operate the computer. You don't even need joysticks like you have in almost all other VR and AR headsets. The hardware is excellent. The 24 million pixels spread across the two panels, far more than any headsets that the majority of people have used. The headband is more comfortable and easily adjustable, and there is a top strap for weight distribution. The optics are also superior. Apple claims that it is still deciding which light seal, the cloth shroud, alternatives. Apple claims that it is still deciding which light seal alternatives to include when it's formally released. The Fixar 025 is an autonomous, fully electric drone made for commercial and industrial use. It is meant to handle large-scale and long-distance missions for tasks like mapping and inspections, aerial imaging, remote sensing, surveillance and monitoring, and so much more. The Fixar 025 can go to up to 186 miles or 300 kilometers with a payload of up to 22 pounds or 25 kg. The operations are totally autonomous which makes it a dependable and effective option for beyond visual line of sight or BD loss missions. This is guaranteed by an in-house built next-gen autopilot and an ex-ground control software. In order to enable operations for a single drone or a drone fleet, the low-maintenance and simple-to-use drone supports the integration of heavier and more complex professional payload modules such as the UTM structure. The drone autopilot is also AI compatible. With its midnight electrical vertical takeoff and landing, or an eVTOL aircraft, 
California-based Archer Aviation seeks to unlock the skies and rethink how we travel. The midnight eVTOL aircraft is being crafted by Archer for urban travel. Although the aircraft can travel up to 100 miles, it is best suited for short travels of about 20 miles with a 12-minute charging interval in between. The midnight eVTOL is powered by six separate battery packs and has a 1,000-pound cargo capacity for a pilot and four extra passengers. With the midnight, Archer hopes to revolutionize intercity travel by reducing lengthy vehicle trips through congested areas to 10 to 20 minutes electric air taxi flights. The Westinghouse UDEC was made for the nuclear business and is made for all types of steel line pools in number one, boiling water reactors pressurized water reactors, and the Vodovojina Energetikski Reactory, or VBER. Before removing the reactor pool, the UDEX system gives the plant operator a chance to clean the pool's walls and floor. This saves both time and effort on the part of the staff. The walls and floor of the UDEX are bloat floating bodies that can be moved quickly and easily. It also has two decontaminating wheels that move independently and make it easy to clean surfaces. The built-in suction pump removes water and loses bits at the same time. UDEC can be run in a recirculation mode or by connecting the fluent hose to the plant's own filtering system. With the Westinghouse UDEC, a reactor pool can be cleaned in about a day by a single person. About 95% of the surface contamination can also be removed. Motorcycles have symbolized freedom, speed, and power. What if we told you that there's a motorbike that's great to ride and saves the planet? Well, the Hydra is the first hydrogen-powered motorbike. The e-bike utilizes hydrogen fuel cells to power its electric motor, emitting pure water vapor and producing no emissions. This reduces air pollution and lets you ride your e-bike without harming the environment. It is silent and smooth because it's electric and powerful, despite its eco-friendliness. It is definitely one reliable ride with a top speed of 75 miles per hour and a range of 100 miles on a single tank of hydrogen. The Hydra's sleek appearance will turn heads and help you stand out on the road. The co-founder of Archer is working very hard and investing a lot of money to create a general-purpose bipedal humanoid robot. Well, it's quite similar to what we saw on the Tesla keynote. Of course, it's not an easy dream in any way. There have been numerous attempts to break this code, so it is not for a lack of trying. The system is now concentrated on a variety of manual labor jobs, effectively manufacturing, Retail and warehouse fulfillment logistics are at the top of the list when you think about industrial robotics. However, there are reasons why robots have typically been designed for a particular repeating duty. For a figure, general purpose is the goal. Mac Byers' final year graduation thesis for his Transport Design Bachelor's at the University of Huddersfield is the Aether Luxury Airship Concept. The Aether is an airship-based luxury cruise concept that offers passengers some of the most magnificent views while allowing them to travel at high speeds in comfort. The technology that Aeroscraft is currently developing is the foundation of the airship. The vehicle's exterior is designed to seem completely different from any airship that has ever been built, dispelling ideas of danger like the 1937 Hindenburg accident. Inspired by Thunderbird 2, Star Wars, and the NASA Space Shuttle, the concept depicts a modern airship that is both safe and clean. The stairways and tables in the lobby include structural cords as embellishments. The interior has been planned to be as open as possible to promote social interaction and offer a place for users to congregate. The future of flight is only going to improve. 
the exponential rate at which technology and AI is playing to enhance our lives is simply unbelievable. This concept of a hybrid helicopter simply looks wild. It's being called ASAP. While we did not find much information about this concept, the CGI and animation are giving some kind of information as to the strengths of the chopper. Our team loves the sleek and futuristic look of this chopper, especially post-takeoff. We hope you like this concept as well. As per our research, it took the team about 9 to 10 months to get just this animation ready.